guy's smoking a cig, listening to his tunes, and mowing the grass. Living the American dream, that's what that is. Hey, there's a motorcycle over there. We should try and try and catch up to it. So I got a story for you guys. All right, here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, he's turning anyways. What a loser. All right, so I got a story. I think I scared that guy next to me. <laughs> Oops, I'll close my visor for you. So, uh, I had a scary dream the other night, and I never get scary dreams. It was like, it was bad. I woke up and I was like shaking almost. Okay, so this is what the dream was, or nightmare I guess it's called. <laughs> this is what it's about. Uh, let's see if I can remember right. You know, the, first, the longer you get away from dreams, the, the less you remember them. So basically, I was typing on my computer like da -da 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 -da, like that <laughs> and all of a sudden uh the computer started erasing itself right and then a whole bunch of weird characters like colon marks and 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 like apostrophes and all kinds of these weird symbols started coming up and i was like what what is going on like what is wrong with double t's computer but uh so I, I tried to type again, and I got about halfway through the sentence, and, and it did it again. It's hot. It's really humid out. Ugh. <laughs> and so, the computer started deleting all my shit again, and I was like, what is going on? And then it started talking to me, like, really scary. It was like paranormal activity stuff, right? <laughs> and I was like, oh shit. So it was like really dark in my house, and... Um, I started to get like, get like these weird feelings on my, on my body. Like, you know, like when you get tingly feelings and I'm out of gas. Uh, let's see if I can remember this right. Something else happened in between this part and my next part, but I can't quite remember it. It was something scary. And then the, the all right, so this is where it really got scary. I, I knew that something was in the house messing with me. I knew it was like a ghost or like a demon or some shit trying to get me. So I tried to uh, tried to get out of the house, right? And I tried to unlock the door, and all of a sudden I felt the doorknob trying to close back. And I tried to unlock the deadbolt, and the deadbolt started to close on me. And I was like trying to fight it, right? Oh, it was scary as shit just thinking about it. It's giving me like goosebumps. All right, and uh, so I was, I was trying to open the door, and it was like pulling against me. And I finally swung it open. And so I started sprinting down the street, right? And it was really dark. There's like these weird, eerie street lights. All these people are like, what is this guy doing on this motorcycle? <laughs> and so there's these street lights, right? And all, I look down and I can see a sh my shadow running. And I see this, uh, it looks like a horse and uh, like a dude on a horse with a big ax, okay? And I see him running towards me. And all of a sudden I see him See him go up like this, right? And um, I duck and he swings at me and I and he misses me. I don't know. I'm pretty sure if I wouldn't have ducked, he would have took my head off with his invisible axe. But God, that was a scary dream. <laughs> like I never ever had scary dreams at all. What's up, dude? And it was bad. <laughs> so, I don't know. I. I can only remember about probably three scary dreams I've had in my life. One when I was, uh, I think I was about three years old. I had the scariest dream I've ever had in my life. I still remember it vividly. Um, basically, it was about me and my two older sisters. Uh, we were camping. Ooh, I'm clear. We were camping out at my old farm. And uh, we heard this barking shit. Like, and my sister was like, here, stay in the tent. But we'll go check it out. And they were probably, I don't know, 10, 7 at the time, 10 and 7, and I was, well, in the dream they were. I, when I was 3, I think they were 6 and 9 or something like that. But, uh, anyways, back to the story. Um, so they went outside to check out this barking, or this, these sounds that they, we were hearing. And all of a sudden I heard them scream, like, like blood, bloody murder, 
death screams, right? And I heard this growling and like, 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 like evil dog, dog sounds, right? Or I don't know what it was. It was a scary ass sound. And I heard them scream and then all of a sudden everything got really quiet. And uh, you got to remember, I was like three or four years old at this time. And so I, I sat, it sat there for like what seemed like an eternity. And then all of a sudden, and there was a campfire outside or something. And all of a sudden I saw this, this, imp, this shadow of this bulldog walk, walk across my tent. Like I just saw a shadow because I was inside the tent. Oh God, that was scary as shit. And then uh, I'm pretty sure at the end of the dream, I was looking at the opening of the tent because there's one of those old fashioned tents that already has an opening. And I'm pretty sure I saw the dog. And then I woke up and I th I'm pretty sure I woke up screaming. I was, you know, I was four years old. Of course I did. But, oh my God, that was scary. That's why I can remember it so vividly. It was like engraved in my brain. <laughs> so... I, again, I don't have nightmares very often. I'm a, I'm a pretty positive guy, and and it doesn't hit me very often. But when I do, it's always an occasion. Because <laughs> I never have... What is this guy doing? You're going like five miles an hour. You guys are just seeing this, right? Literally, he's crawling along. I can't even be in gear because they're going so slow. <laughs> yes, you, you signal. That's good. I know you're turning. This, guys, is how you're supposed to drive. By the book. Look, he stops completely. Good lord, I, I'm gonna wreck just trying to follow this guy. Yeah, so, have you guys ever had any scary dreams? Or, or like, I know everyone has scary dreams, but if you guys have had one that is vividly engraved in your brain, tell me about it in the comments, all right? I mean, they may be long comments, but I don't fucking care. It's my channel. I want you guys to write out your story about your... Or you can private message me if you don't want people to know. But I want to hear you guys' nightmare stories. That way I don't feel like a complete wimp. <laughs> no. They were scary. That's some scary dreams. All right, guys. Um, I will talk to you soon. I hope you guys have liked... I need to go lube up my chain. It's making noises. I just cleaned it. I, did... I forgot to lube it. Alright, well, I hope you guys liked all my videos lately, and if you have any requests, I will take requests. Alright guys, I'll talk to you later.